And then when we can do that, in all 12 keys, then we move to C shape. C minor shape, rather. That's your minor pentatonic. Boom, it's there now, isn't it? So, that's four and five, so again, just like the G shape. It's kind of, it happens outside again, really annoying, isn't it? But here, It's a feast. There. That's where you're gonna play all your legs. Okay, so back to boring practicing. Minor pentatonic. Minor blues scale. Minor pentatonic. Minor blue scale. Don't go below the root, because it's not in. Who cares what's happening down here? Oh, it's quite nice actually. But don't start with that. Clearly, this is the best area. And then do it in D. Minor pentatonic, minor blues. G. C. It's so hard to reach. Ow. Ow. F. And so, and on and on we go. So, A minor shape. That's your four five. That's the flat five. That's four five. There. You could put it there, I suppose, as well, but. It's too difficult to practice up here on the acoustic. It's just too tiny and. You have to kind of change the way you fret it and stuff, so let's move on to D. Now you might be thinking, how do I fret this perfectly? Is it like that? Or is it sliding? Or which one? What's the best option? Well, you're never going to play it up and down anyway, <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Do it in different ways. play like You're not going to play it up and down anyway, so it doesn't matter how you fret it perfectly. There is no such thing. G. And round and round we go until we're done all our shapes in all 12 keys. And when we've done that, connect them. Minor pentatonic. Where's my flat five? There. Okay, so when we connect them now, let's just do minor blues. Should you go below the root note? Well, let's try not doing that first and just go through all 12 keys instead. So, 
This is D. Don't do it to a metronome. Just do it. If you can achieve that, all 12 keys, from the root note and up, don't go below the root note, don't intertwine it with the minor pentatonic, don't do it to a click, if you can just do it, that's great. That's better than like, I have achieved all, all the diff most difficult scale exercise in the world. I played below the root note to a click, and I did it all in one go in all 12 keys. Well, great, mate, but pff, who cares, you know? It's about connecting the minor cage shapes with the minor blues scale. That's the object here. So let's focus on that. The D minor shape in A minor. You're never going to go below the root note anyway. You're going to switch shape. I guarantee it. If you don't believe me, think. come back here five years from now when you're playing blues solos and stuff and you tell me that you're phrasing down here. Well, then I'll, I'll make a video with you, if that's the case. It's never going to happen. You're going to switch down to a lower shape when you go down. That's why everyone does. It just makes sense. Um, so, focus on the important stuff here. Connecting the blues, minor blues rather, the minor blues scale shape with the minor caged shape. That's the goal. If you can connect all these shapes... Amazing. You've done it. Next time, next step, we're going to do the Conspirian scale, a scale I invented. Uh, most people play it, actually, all the time. They just don't know that they are doing it. And they definitely don't call it Conspirian. <laughs> but I do. So next step, let's do that. See you then.